Hello and welcome back to uh, Raven Simulations. My name's Derek. Uh, today we're here in Sedona and we're taking a flight over to Flagstaff. Uh, my dad's joining us as well. Um, we are uh, flying in uh, real time, real weather, and also on Pilot Edge. Um, we're also flying different planes today. We're taking out the uh, Piper Arrows because we needed a little bit more uh, boost getting over the, the mountains and terrain in this area. So uh, we're going to get these started and get these planes in the air. So I'm going to follow some of this here. So battery on, lights oh, yeah. on, right. and uh, I got to see, yep, beacon, that, that, uh, fuel pump on, we're going to start with the left tank, and uh, that's it. So we'll uh, do that and go uh, clear prop. Oh, start right up. And then uh, avionics coming on. Garmin starts right up. Love to see it. All right. Now I'm going to do a radio check. To radio check. Radio check. Nice. Testing one, Testing two. one, two. All right. We got that good. And uh, which way the wind coming from? Where are we taking off from? Zero, six, zero at six. So we're taking off on three. <coughs> okay. I'm going to head down there. Yeah, I still got to do run up and stuff, but I will follow you. The a run up apron down there, but generally where you do it at. Well, there's also a big hill, so it could be down there. Yeah. Okay, this is a dead end. Yeah, I was wondering where exactly you were going. If you come back uh, towards me, yeah. Well, it shows that there is a uh, an exit right here, but I don't see it. I mean, the map, uh, I'm looking at, uh, <clears throat> you know, the Jepson chart. Hmm. There was supposed to be another way to get to the taxiway down there. Maybe it is in the dirt. I don't know. And, I'll have to uh, look into that. Maybe the airport's wrong. I That's just passed another one. Yeah, there was supposed to be. Yeah, so we're. Well, yeah, I have no idea what's going on. There is an entrance stone here. Uh, yeah, see, so well, this is. Uh, it just doesn't match up exactly. The airport doesn't match with the Jepson map. Jepson map. Okay, I'll have to fix that then. And we're gonna be going uphill because this is the uphill takeoff. Like I said, everyone yeah. likes to take off on on uh, twenty because you hit that uphill part and just go airborne. So. Uh, you shouldn't even get to that part of it. That's way down the end. Well, again, if if it comes to that, you're going to go airborne anyway. Yeah, right. And then <laughs> crash. But okay, we'll, we'll go with that. All right, yeah. let's do the run up now. All righty, so we want to do that. Yeah. Michael, your prop at least twice. Say what? The blue knob. Cycle that twice. Just pull it down and pull it back up. Yeah, you just watch it. You'll see it at drop to about 17 or 18. Oh yeah. And just make that. Just make sure that you have uh, 
proper fluid to control the prop. Okay, cool. And then I got one more transponder altimeter. Door and windows locked. And lights are on. All right, I'm ready. We are good to go. Okay, try this. Set your RPMs to uh, 1,000. Mm -hmm. And pull your mixture back until it goes up. Okay. Okay, so I'll leave it there for takeoff because that's just setting the, setting the power a little closer. We're at 5,000 feet, so. Okay, sounds good. All right. Uh, me. Sedona traffic, arrow four three six eight Tango departing runway zero three Sedona. Did you hear any of it? All of it sounded great. That was the takeoff. Oh, not too bad. You get to the top of the hill and <laughs> the runway and everything falls away. Sedona traffic. Arrow 206 Romeo Papa departing runway 03. Sedona traffic. So, it's going to pull to which side? It's going to, you pull want to have, to... turn to the right. It's not going to pull, it pushes its wind. You're going to want to hold a little bit of right aileron so that you stay on center line. Okay. Okay. And so a little bit of right aileron and then use the rudder to keep you centered. But if you need, if it starts going to the left, go more right aileron. Here we go. There's speed alive. And again, I'm not set up in this plane very well. Okay, that was way better. It's just center line. But I don't have the ticker tape. Because my Aspen in this plane is not set up right. Where's my ticker tape? There it is. Okay, so where are you now? Did you take off? Yep, I'm airborne. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take the boost pump off. Gear up. Duh. Okay, that's new as well. I'm flying just to the right of that big mountain there. That's straight out from runway three. Just to the <clears throat> right? Okay. You turned right? <clears throat> no, I'm just flying right past it on the right side. Okay. I'm at um, 7,000 climbing. Actually, I'm uh, getting a low terrain alert. I'm at uh, 5,000, doing 87 knots climbing. Uh, taxi lights are coming off. Wow, it's a straight shot to uh, KFLD from here. Yeah, once you get over past that mountain, you were up pretty high here. I'm going to be flying it. I think 75. I don't think we need 10 or 85, I should say. I don't think we need 10.5. I just wanted to take this moment to uh, say if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. And also, these two airports we're flying in between, you can download for free on ravensimulations.com. 
and uh, I post all of our airports that we've been flying in between and uh, yeah sometimes I update them too uh, looks like I'm gonna have to do some updates to the Sedona one because the uh, taxiways aren't correct but uh, that's basically what I've been doing is just making sure the airports are correct and adding in a little bit of art and stuff I've done in the past uh, into the uh, airports as well. Also, I post a lot of stuff on my Discord, which you can find the link in the description below. And uh, you should join that because I am post up stuff about our, our future flights and uh, work I've done on the airports as well as what planes we're flying and, and updates from X-Plane 12, which I can't wait for. So uh, join the Discord. I'd love to hear from you. And once again, if you want to download these airports we're flying in between, you can grab them on ravensimulations.com. Approach uh, Towers 13455. Flagstaff Tower, Arrow 4368 Tango, about 8 miles southwest. Uh, inbound for landing. I confirm the call sign calling Flagstaff Tower. 4368 Tango, we're at uh, 8500 and we're about 7 miles southwest. December 4368 Tango, runway 3, quit land. Be advised, you got to put the November in front of your call sign for it to be valid next time. Okay, okay. thank you. Clear to land runway 3, runway 3, quit land next straight on. Yeah, he talked over you. <laughs> oh, November 4368 Tango, make straight in runway 3, runway 3, quit to land. Runway 3, clear to land, uh, November 4368 Tango. Flagstaff Tower, uh, Cherokee, uh, 4368 Tango is clear to Alpha 5. November 4368 Tango, taxi to parking via Alpha, remain in frequency. Taxi to parking, remain in frequency. 4368 Tango. Flagstaff Tower, November 206 Romeo Papa, uh, Cherokee, uh, 7 miles south uh, at uh, 9000. Clone Flag Staff Tower, say your call sign again. November 206, Romeo Papa. November 206, Romeo Papa, Flag Staff Tower, say intention. Uh, uh, full stop. Uh, 6 Romeo Papa. November 6, Romeo Papa, runway 3, clear to land, make straight on. Clear to land, runway 3, uh, 6 Romeo Papa. Different towers, clear to land, Alpha, we're sure, have one left, like one. November 131, Charlie Alpha, San Francisco Tower, runway 1 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 1 left, Charlie Alpha. You're down. Yeah. Doing and what's this thing land at? Uh, about 80, okay. 85. Doing 90, and it's coming yeah. down. Really you fast. should have three notches of flaps. I got two. And remember, don't push that red knob. Don't put the mixture full because you run out of power. Okay. You're Not still at 7,000 feet. <clears throat> Doing so, 80. Full yeah, flaps. That sounds good. Gear down. Full flaps is good. Free green. Good. <clears throat> That's good. Excellent. Yep. Going down at. I can never find it. Oh, about 500 feet per minute. Okay, cool. Is there one through one alpha contact departure? Departure to the alpha. Departure to the Alpha, 4500, climb 10. Level 1 through 1, Charlie Alpha, NorCal departure, radar contact, climb and maintain, spot level 190. 190, Alpha. Ah, I'm fighting this wind, that's what's going on. Oh. Okay, so that was some of the stuff we didn't get was he may have said what the, you have to, on the tape, find out if he said what the... El Paso Ground, Harbor 7, Julia Bravo, we're at the terminal, we have a ADIS was. We didn't get the ADIS IFR. and he didn't say. Number 7, Julia Bravo, El Paso Ground, runway 26 left taxi via Golf Lima. Runway 26 left via taxiway Golf, then Lima, uh, number 7, Julia Bravo. Challenger 1 Bravo Bravo, taxi to parking via Alpha, monitor the ground, good day. By Alpha to the ground, Alpha to the ramp, I'm on the ground, uh, 711 Bravo Bravo, thanks a lot. That looked like a good landing. Ugh, oh, look at this skid, I don't understand why it's like landing on ice. 
Well, look. It might Every have time, a it's fast. this. It's this plane. Yeah, it is this plane. Yeah, there's there's definitely some stuff wrong with it. That's why I don't want to buy a new one. Yeah. No kidding. Get the, you know. I'm gonna try the uh, uh, just flight after this. I I just know the yeah. well. <laughs> For VFR and what we're doing, the Phoenix just clear. flights by perfect. Eight two one Papa Zero, it's a C one seven two slant Golf uh, Northwest ramp with box truck. Request to class uh, clearance out of class Bravo. We are heading two one eight, cruising six point five. Flagstaff Tower, November two zero six Romeo Papa, clear runway uh, three, Romeo uh, six Romeo Papa. Uh, Number six, Romeo Papa, looks like that town number is 737, Romeo Papa. Check your call sign next time before you call in. Taxi to parking via Alpha. Taxi to parking via Alpha, six, Romeo Papa. Sorry about that. In a different plane today. Yeah. November, uh, sorry, November 821, Papa, Sierra Phoenix, Clear out of Phoenix, Class Bravo Airspace. Departure frequency 119.2, Squawk 2670. Oh, um, I'm back at Alpha 7. Departs frequency 119.2, one, 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 squad 2678, one Papa Sierra. Sky 131 is clear to Oscar Air Force 6 Airport via Bird 7 departure, Grenade transition direct, uh, climb via the seat, uh, departure 124.3, squad 5612. Sky 131, read back, correct. Right? Okay. Heart. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Yeah, I don't like this plane. I don't know <laughs> what it is. Yeah. Well, I forgot you know, about the skidding thing. It's just, it's been that way forever. I yeah. don't know what it is. It just skids. Yeah. It's like flying in ice. Once again, uh, thank you for watching. And if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll be doing some more flights, uh, definitely, on Pilot Edge. Probably a Class D to Class D. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. And until next time, I'll see you in the skies.